Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. What up, everybody? <laughs> Guess who's back? Do I look tired? Look at my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Um, I've missed you guys. Um, you know, I've been kind of um, enjoying the process of um, watching my son grow in the last two weeks. He's uh, almost, he's three weeks old. He's going to be three weeks old on um, Tuesday. So I'm watching him uh, kind of, you know, move around. The kid is extremely strong. He's already turning over. Like we I put, we do tummy time. We just started doing that a couple of days ago. And today was the first day, or yesterday was the first day he actually turned over on his back from the from uh, just on being on his stomach. He's extremely strong and he's very stubborn. And when he gets mad, it's like there's nothing. He's like the hole comes out, nothing's gonna stop him. <laughs> so uh, it's been interesting to watch that, and uh, also very self-reflective to understanding of a little bit about myself. And uh, I, I I'm totally at fault for some of the. <laughs> So the stuff that goes that's going on with this kid is fun to watch, um, because yeah, some of that temper, some of that um, that uh, some of that power uh, comes from me, and also some of that uh, fighting sleep when you need to go to bed. That's definitely me. So it's been fun to watch him um, changing uh, in the last two weeks, two two to three weeks, and I cannot wait to watch the rest of it. Um, but again, I did miss you guys, and I'm back. Um, this is the first episode back for Wine Still of the Week. I can't wait to share a nice little still with you. Um, format's going to stay the same, but I'm going to be throwing some extra stuff in here eventually, eventually every every once in a while. And the reason I'm talking low is because the baby's upstairs asleep, and so I don't want to wake him up. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. Um, today, we're in Tuscany, and we're talking about the uh, 2000 and... 21, uh, Bella Vita, out of Tuscany, Italy, the Etrusca. Here's that label right there. I hope you guys can see that. Look at that. That's actually a really cool label in my opinion. I really dig it. It uh, looks like there's this um, lady throwing a glass of wine, and the, and the red wine is kind of in the air. The wind's blowing it. It's beautiful. Beautiful uh, label. And this is done in the Pasamito, or a Pasit, um, the Pasit uh, style. So basically... When you see that on a label with Tuscany, normally they are um, making this wine with, uh, some of it is made with dried grapes. So kind of gives you an idea. They do a lot of that in um, in uh, Veneto, uh, mid uh, kind of central Italy. Uh, anyway, let's get right into this wine. I can't wait to get into it. You know, I love Italy and this is, a, it's about time we, it's, it's, it's good to start off with something that I really, really love. So let's get into it on the nose. So I get red cherry. I get a little bit of like a, uh, I get a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spice here. Um, kind of like exotic going on. There's also like this really supple, like high level leather going on here. This smells expensive, um, just being honest with you. This is like uh, not the, the uh, no, no, no diss to Toyota, but this is not the Toyota, Toyota uh, leather in the car smell. This is the Maserati uh, in the car smell, in my opinion. There's also a bit of wet tree bark going on here too. Um, definitely like a little bit of wet tree bark and like hot soil. Some off, some underripe coffee grounds here too on the nose. There's like a secondary of hickory smoke, which is interesting. Gives this uh, wine a little bit more layers, a little bit more complexity. There's also a bit of uh, kind of uh, purple plum with like uh, kind of like a tart skin, like a little bit of a tartness here too. And black cherry. Let's go ahead and taste it and see if everything's translating to the palate. This is very good juice. I would like to talk about structure first. Tannin here is... Tannin's medium. Acid is... Acid is uh, medium plus, but underside of medium plus, uh, there's like a lot of uh, lushness up front, so you wouldn't recognize the acid on first sip. But if you let some air in after you like let this go down, you're gonna start seeing it, your mouth watering like crazy. 
The finish is very long here. This is a medium bodied wine. Almost bordering on medium plus. Also, I did forget, let me tell you the breakdown of this wine. This is Sangiovese heavy. Uh, Tuscany, you think Sangiovese. Uh, but Tuscany uh, has some Sangiovese heavy on this one. Uh, I think it's like 50%. I think 30% goes to um, uh, Syrah. And then uh, there's like another 20% of Merlot here. So um, nice, nice wine. Not, not even nice wine. Very, very good wine. Um, we're going to talk about fruit in a second. I just want to check something out really quick on this label. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is IGT. Okay. So I guess this could be considered a Super Tuscan, I guess. Um, it is IGT. Um, so I guess you could call it a Super Tuscan, even though it's done in a different style with the uh, Posse uh, style. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, taste a little bit more. This thing approaches with this tart um, cherry, gets more into like a, a, a raspberry and purple plum thing as it maneuvers down your tongue. Um, in that mid palate, you get a little bit more of like an, uh, a shift to the earthy side of this. Um, kind of that, like minerality, like this kind of like, miner that's what it is. It's like kind of this minerality that you would get, calcium rich soil minerality thing um, in the third quarter uh, that extends to the finish. Um, also get a little bit of those coffee grounds that I was talking about on the finish too. I do quite appreciate this, the style of this. Um, this also has like a little bit of a floral thing going on. Like there's some violets going on here on the, I caught it on the nose, but I couldn't pinpoint it. Now I can, because I'm getting a little bit of that kind of like what I would, you know, when you see something you think, um, I, I bet you it tastes like this. Uh, or you smell something you think, I, I bet you it tastes like this. That's kind of what I'm getting. I'm getting this like what I would think violets would taste if I <laughs> tasted violets. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is a wonderful wine. Highly recommend it. It was 94 points. And so that's what made me grab it. Wine still of the week. We'll be right back. Hey, Tom Gunter here. I run Fruit and Glass Gear on Etsy. And I have a new line called Liquid Lunch. I just love the design here. This is a lightweight hoodie with a hat right here, Liquid Lunch. And... And this cool little form fitted v neck. Cheers, guys. Now, back to the show. I'm not gonna go 94. Um, I'm gonna say this is a uh, 90 point, 90 plus point wine. Um, it's a wonderful wine, and I highly recommend it. If I'm drinking it with something, I'm going with like a uh, pork shank or like uh, something like that, or even like uh, a nice little barbecue, like uh, ribs would go really well with this too. Highly recommend it. Um, where you can get it, the still is, this is at Grocery Outlet. I found this for $6.99, so this is a case buy in my opinion. You look anything over 90 points um, that's doing like this, that's punching way above its weight class like this is, uh, and for the price, it's a no-brainer, you gotta go grab it. Uh, other than that, guys, um, let me see, uh, hope everybody else is doing well. I hope this is a perfect episode to get you into the weekend, and um, I will have a Wine Wednesday coming up to you next week. Um, and I will try to make this work out as much as I can. It's, you know, it's busy. Again, I got the kid running around and, uh, you know, we're trying to figure things out. But, um, yeah, thanks for all the support, guys. Thanks for all the messages I've, got, I've gotten about, you know, having a kid. And, you know, this was an unexpected surprise. Um, and I haven't shared it as much, but I, I want to share a little bit of it with you guys. Because uh, although this is, um, I do this for business life. A lot of times, this is also, I love wine, and I love the community that I've grown, and so I will be sharing light stuff. Not going to go crazy with the photos and stuff, but I will share a little bit of what's going on with the kid. Uh, wonderful, handsome man. Little Gunter. <laughs> anyway, uh, other than that, question of the day. Um, if you're talking about Italy, where's your favorite region? You know what I mean, I'm talking about anything from uh, Veneto, from, um, from um, Tuscany, from Piemonte, uh, you know, Sicily, whatever. Let me know what your favorite region. If you have a specific grape out of that region that you love, please put that in the comments. Guys, until next time, cheers.